Hey guys, welcome back. So our BP to B has kept to his word, which he said he's not going to take this election, which was held on 25th. Now Rufani has given an early update this morning about what is really happening. Relax back to watch and hear from Rufani's mouth about the official matter. What is happening? Yes. So before I go more details, let me read what the file, the petitions that will be grigory file ab about the 25th election which was held in nigeria which we all know he said it's not all about uh, giving us only our mandate rather telling them that what they did of rigging and uh, imposing someone else on us is actually bad so from the court of appeal who he holding or at abuja in the matter of the election to the office of the president of the federal republic of nigeria held on the 25th day of february okay between mr pito obi glory a labor party and then to independent national electoral commission senator bola mohammed tunumbu and senator shekiti kashiam all the progressive parties so he has five petition okay the petition of mr gregory obi and labor party Hold on Ted Garbage Street, who said Zone 3, Zone 2 rather, Abuja House name and okay, are uh, subscribed. So, guys, this will be hold on the third. Okay, so relax back to hear the remaining details coming from uh, Rufani as he share us more what is happening about this particular host stuff it just obvious that now 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 war starts i pray my god actually use the judges who are in charge of this this case may you use them wisely so that we can bring victory for us so listen to go funny guys a couple of stories making the rounds welcome to another exciting edition of the trust and uh today finally Peter Obi and Atiko Abaka have been able to file in their case for the deadline. Uh, Obi is seeking about four reliefs. Uh, relief number one will be he wants uh, Bolati Nambu to be disqualified because of the drug uh, allegations and issue. Secondly, because of the number of vote cast and he brought out, uh, he said he's got some forensic analysis of that, that he won the majority vote. And thirdly and fourthly, because of the 25%. Uh, not reaching 25% threshold in Abuja, uh, FCT. So those are the things in front of the court that he subpoena. Uh, sorry if you can hear me, just pay close attention. I'm in the dream, so, and I've got a lot to do today. Uh, so uh, these are the grounds at which he wants this to be disqualified. Uh, let's see uh, how this pans out in the, in the law court, and let's see how the process goes. Uh, and some uh, new stories, uh, President Muhammad Buhari has been able to assent to some bill and most importantly what he did last Friday is quite instructive. The fact that uh, states can now produce their electricity and distribute their electricity. States can also have their railroad services in, in terms of devolution of power and all of that. So these are the things, you know, that uh, have been put out there as regards uh, what is happening. So that's a good one, uh, but a lot of people are still saying uh, that uh, they still want more. But one other part of the uh, constitutional amendment that President Muhammad Buhari did in assent to is the fact that National Assembly can summon the president, uh, which is quite very sad. So, but on the whole, the other part has uh, been assented to uh, the fact that states cannot provide produce their own electricity and uh, do otherwise. So, a lot has been happening in Nigeria back and forth. Uh, that's today's ed edition of uh, The Trust. Uh, I'll give you more updates as you come on. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I put in a lot of you know, personal stress to be able to do this sometimes.